It's such an honour to be nominated and to win the Anthea Award. We had the challenge of meeting the Premier's priority on youth homelessness and we smashed it over two years. So um, we've sustained that and we've worked with our partners in the NGO sector and other government agencies to do that. It opens part our doorways um, for not only our team and our partnerships with um, TAFE New South Wales, but also um, job opportunities for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people in New South Wales. To the team, it is recognition of a lot of hard work um, and a lot of work with other agencies. This was a great project about collaborating with other agencies. It's a great honour, um, not only for myself, but for my team and just for justice and juvenile justice, because I feel like this award will continue our effort, like our continuous improvements with working with community and um, developing those relationships. We accept the, the award gladly on behalf of all the, the great kids that we work with right across the state. It's such a privilege to be acknowledged for the work that we're doing, but it also gives a voice to those patients uh, who've experienced infertility. We're all based in Orange, and uh, the work that we're doing sometimes is, a, I guess, a little bit under the covers and it's not understood, the impact we're making. And so for, I guess, the public service to recognise our achievements is great for all of us and the team. This award is acknowledgement and recognition of the very hard work our frontline clinicians do every day treating the patients of Western Sydney.